What's going on y'all? This is Dana Polk Jr. Master Executive 8 and in this video I'm going to be talking about reasons that you should retain your seed after a breakup. Um, I would say the number one reason is to um, it will make you understand how valuable your seed actually is and then you'll be less likely to just give it to anyone or you won't make it so it won't be so easy for you to just give anyone your seed anymore like I'm not saying that temptation won't be there like you'll find yourself in situations to where like you might you know not want to give nobody a seed at all and then that one day pop up that you ready to hit everything moving like so I'm not saying it's not gonna happen but the more you do it the more valuable you start to see your energy is especially once you start reaping the benefits of retaining you start seeing that you got more energy you start seeing that your hair is growing faster and stronger you start seeing that you know your 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 uh your conscious awareness starts becoming more like you're able to pick up on more things you're able to see more things you'll start having visions you'll start man i'm telling you like just some of the stuff I've I've started um started happening to me has just been like just stuff that like I be thinking I'd be tripping sometimes, man. Like there's been times where I've jumped out my body like and been looking at myself from from above me. I mean it's times I've I've walked and seen multiple projections of myself going five different directions. It's been times where I've summoned like these armies around me like first it started out with just some soldiers around me then I was like man let me see how far I can go with this and I summoned a whole legion of armies you know what I mean of soldiers you know what I mean and, and and this is just your imagination like starting to work like and um like I'm not gonna say that that is what it is I'm you know I, I'm not trying to seem crazy on this John by by um saying that this that is what it is but i'm just talking about the things that will start to happen your mind will start to change like you'll start to the, the discipline that you're putting on yourself will start to leak over into different places so you'll start creating more because now that energy is not being spilled is being able to be used for other stuff you know what i mean you'll start viewing women different you know what i mean you'll start viewing them for more of a uh a um um non-physical space like you'll start to pay less attention to their physical and more of their value that is not physical you know what i'm saying and then that will help you have a clearer judge of what type of person this is you know what i mean you can you you'll start to easily see like oh i'm not i'm not giving her my seat you know what i'm saying or or you know you'll just start to uh You'll start to see you'll just start to see things differently. Um, also, if you have a if you have a problem with uh, pornography, boom, it will help you um, overcome that. I mean, I'm not even gonna say you won't do it at all, but it'll be less and less. Like I will admit, like um, I've had one more encounter with it since I had stopped, but like after that, it's it hasn't been so like. It's, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. But like you'll go from like maybe doing it every day or just being sexually active every day to like less and less and then just start using that energy for something else. Like it'll come to a point to where um, retention becomes normal to you. Yeah, you know I mean, and it's not like you're retaining for the sake of retaining, like you're transmuting the energy. So it's not like you don't want the energy to sit in your body. So like, yeah, you're working out, you know what I'm saying? You're meditating, you're doing yoga, you're doing whatever you're doing to transmute the energy. You're creating, you're writing, you're doing self-healing, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, man, those, those are some of the reasons that you should retain, um, after the breakup but like i said the number one reason is because you it will change your mind as far as your value you'll start to see your body as more valuable you'll be less likely to just give your body to things and situations where you'll you'll start to feel your worth go up and you'll be like man like you know like you'll just find it hard to do the old stuff and like I said, I'm not saying the temptation won't be there. Like I said, one day, it's the sh I talked about this in another video, you'll have these shifts, you know what I mean, where you'll, you'll 
you won't want it at all and then like I said another day you want to hit everything moving like it's going to happen but it's going to happen less and less the more you transmute and I will tell you man your energy is going to be through the roof you know what I'm saying through the roof of course you still need rest and stuff but you know those waking times through the roof um um, like I said, to help out with the, the pornography, um, you'll, you'll have an increase in testosterone levels, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you'll find yourself, um, it, it, <laughs> you'll find yourself just having more testosterone, you know what I'm saying? Your, your voice, your voice will deepen, like, you'll just, you'll just improve overall. You know what I'm saying? And then um, it will also help you heal, you know, um, from the breakup you just had. Because um, most of the times after we break up, we just want to, man, we just want to. Um, now, you know, we might feel like lower in value. We might feel like rejected. You know what I'm saying? So, like, instead of dealing with that, you'll, you'll want to um, look for outlets, unhealthy outlets. Like, there's nothing unhealthy about having sex. But if you're having sex just for the, for the validation of feeling like you're worth something, then I'm not even saying don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I first broke up, man, I had I had this, this one girl, man, we was having sex. I mean... Well, I mean, whenever she called, whenever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't really call her, but like, you know what I mean? Whenever she called, like, I, I was able to go over there and, and have my fun or whatever. But like, it was like, at the end of the day, when I would come home and I'd be by myself, I'd be like, yo, I still got these issues. I still got these things to deal with that the sex is not really helping like that. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it was necessarily making it worse, but it was like, I, the, 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 the the emotional baggage that came from that breakup wasn't being dealt with just with the sex you know what i'm saying like it was other things that i had and then i just decided like even that person i was had you know what i'm saying like i just knew that i had to deal with myself and that i couldn't hide from myself i couldn't you know what i mean another thing um um, it's going to help you overcome any addictions, man. I was smoking weed heavy, man. Heavy. Because I didn't know how to deal with what just happened. So I was just smoking, smoking, smoking. Back to back. I mean, I'm telling you, like, I'm not even getting high no more how much I was smoking. Like, you ever smoke so much? Like, you're not even getting... You just you just feel like, man, I just got an L in the air. Just to have it in the air. I'm not even getting high. You know what I mean? So, they're like, these are all reasons that retention really helps uh after a breakup you know what i'm saying and you don't gotta do it for a long time like i like i always suggest to anybody who's just starting out just do it for a week if you are a a a, a regular man you can stop having sex you can stop jerking off for a week seven days you know what i mean and you'll notice a it's been scientifically proven that you'll notice a um a um an increase in testosterone and and you'll just feel better overall about yourself especially if you got a pornography thing because like you know i don't know how everybody feels about it but i know me i didn't feel right like don't you know it's something that just didn't sit right with me of watching somebody else have sex and me like jerking off it just it just didn't feel right it didn't feel natural you know what i'm saying it didn't just it just didn't feel like like i i i, w I would rather you go get the real thing if you're gonna do that but then like i said boom when you do that you still feel whatever those issues is whatever that is you got to deal with that and retaining your semen is going to help with that because that level of discipline of doing that spills over into other things and makes other things easier and like i said you don't got to do it forever but like it's a good practice to practice i mean every now and then because to transmute that energy you know what i'm saying you know what I mean, if you can push yourself, go on a streak, you know what I'm saying, and, and reap the benefits of doing it for a long period of time. There are benefits. Uh, the farthest I've gone was four months, which is, man, minuscule to the the length that of other guys I know that have done it. You know what I'm saying? And, and man, when I tell you, like, you can literally look at them and see them glowing. That is another thing that will happen. Like, you'll be able to see clearer, like, spiritually, you know what I'm saying? Like not not with your eyes. I mean, of course, yeah, with your eyes too. You can literally see the their or you can see them glowing. Like they have this orange glow about them. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, it's one guy. Like man, this dude has this orange glow about him. 
So anyway, um, I'm trying to think of another reason why you guys want to retain after a breakup. Um, excuse me, y'all. I mean, those are some of the main reasons. If if you guys can think of any more, um, add it in the comment section below. Yeah, I mean, so I can update this video, maybe do a part two, something I missed, or I may just update it on my own anyway. I mean, and um, and yeah, that's it, man. So these are just a few reasons that you should um retain uh after a breakup. I think it'll be very beneficial for you. All right, guys, this is Dana Polk Jr. Oh. Also, retaining will keep you from chasing. If you're, if you're, like, if you're a guy who, like, after you get out of that breakup, you, you feel like you need that validation, you're going to start chasing women. Like, you're literally going to start chasing them. You're going to start hitting up all your exes. You're going to start talking to, I mean, chicks you see on the street. I mean, you're going to be on dating sites. You're going to be chasing, chasing, chasing pussy. Like, you need to focus on your purpose. You need to focus on healing. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing that it'll help you do. All right. This is Dana Poe Jr. Massive Executive 8. And I'm out.